awesome. Let's check it out. What a beautiful specimen we have for you today. This little guy right behind me is known as an eastern redbud, or Circus canadensis. Although technically native to New Jersey, it is not a super common tree that you're gonna find in our native woodlands. Here in New Jersey, you're gonna find it most likely in a landscape application, just like this. Pretty epic. You may even have one in your front yard, or your neighbor, or somewhere in town. I think it's pretty easy to understand why this particular species is picked in landscape applications. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Let's grab a branch and we'll talk some more. All right, here we can see the twig of the red bug. Obviously, I think first thing that's going to pop out, as you can see even behind me, are all these beautiful flowers. Although it's called a red bud, it should really be called a purple bud. Am I right? Anyway, as you can see, we have an alternately branched tree. We have the main stem here, branch here, branch here. Remember, mad horse, maple, ash, dogwood, horse chestnut. This is not one of those trees. Something else that stands out for me is when you look at the ends of the branches, they have these small zigzag on the twig. It's not exactly a straight shot. It kind of zigs its way as it zags. Here's a close-up of the twig. You can see the beautiful flowers, the zigzag pattern I was talking about. And if you look really close, you're going to see these white dots. That's our good old buddy, the lentisil. You're also going to see these leaves popping out. Now the leaves are very distinctive on this plant. Let's see if we can find an old one. Here we have a leaf of the Eastern Red Bud. Look at that shape. It's a perfect heart, which is just awesome because I love this tree. And I think you should too. And I think you do already. Here's a close up view of the Eastern Red Bud bark. This particular specimen is pretty mature. It's been here for a while. And when this tree gets established, the bark is pretty scaly like this and starts to flake off. You'll actually see some orange and red undertones in the bark there. The younger bark is much different. Here's a view of a younger specimen. You can see the bark is smoother, a light gray, and covered in these white lines. You guessed it, lenticels. So go ahead, collect those clues. Look at the habitat you're in. Check out the tree's bark. Check out the zigzag pattern of the branching. Maybe you can find yourself a leaf. But one thing that's definitely going to stand out if you're lucky enough to catch it, all these beautiful flowers. Thanks for hanging with me today. I hope you had some fun, and I hope you learned something. And until next time, Take care.